Hello everybody, I'm Blazer Rebecca, and welcome back to Ace Academy. So, it seems some new info has come up. This person, Ezra Wilson, seemed to have been the driver responsible for what happened to the parents. But still unclear about why this is happening. And I guess Ezra is the one in that coma? Huh. I let out a frustrated sigh. I wish you could just tell me what happened. Wait a minute. Dad's research. The strange incorruption in my core. Uncle Kaito notices the change in my expression. What is it? I wonder if this has something to do with my core. Because of the weird thing it did during your first match? Maybe. If whoever wanted your dad dead was after your core, then you might be in danger. You probably shouldn't use Eagle again, just to be safe. Well, that's gonna kind of hinder things, isn't it? I wouldn't go that far. Far. All my core did was use extra energy packs. At least that's what my professor said. That's why the referees didn't disqualify me from the match. Hmm. Extra energy doesn't sound like something to kill over. My thoughts exactly. I brought my core for a different reason. Might be nothing, but our team engineer found weird encryption from Dan in my core. She didn't think it was anything important, but now I'm not so sure. What does it say? I don't know. He nods. I try to refocus on the TV, but I can't stop thinking about the accident on purpose. <sighs> I think I'm just gonna go to bed. Alright. Try not to stress too much about this. I promise we'll find out what happened. Okay. I smile weakly. Thanks, Uncle Kaito. After saying goodnight, I get ready for bed then slip under the blankets. I close my eyes trying to clear my mind, but end up running through every detail of the accident I remember, hoping to find a clue. Eventually I fall asleep out of pure exhaustion. <sighs> I slap off my alarm and feel unusually energized for this morning. Today is our match against Akira, and after the training session yesterday with Coach Ivan, I feel confident in her abilities. This should be an exciting match. Yeah, great! After getting ready, I wolf down my breakfast and drive to school. Yuna stops me on my way to a pre the pre-combat room. Hey! Oh, hey, Yuna. I'm glad I ran into you. Oh? Does it count running to me if you knew exactly where I would be? Yes! She grins and thrusts her tablet in front of me. Do you mind filling out this survey really quickly? Survey for what? The session with Coach Ivan. Since yesterday's guest coach was a new initiative for Dashu, they like to gauge how valuable you all thought the session was. I've managed to track down everyone else, so yours is the last form I need. Okay. I took a minute to fill out the survey. Once I'm finished, I had the tablet back to Yuna. Thanks. No problem. I'm kind of impressed that Dashu would go the extra mile to meet, get someone like Coach Ivan to consult for a non-professional team. Yuna smiles. That's one of the reasons I like them. I wonder how they got him to agree. Oh, it was easy. All I had to do was call. Wait, what? Yeah, I found his contact information online and figured it couldn't hurt to reach out. I asked his manager if this was something they'd be interested in, and luckily it was. Then I introduced the idea to Dashu, along with the proposal I'd put together. After that, it was just a matter of getting their approval and support with logistics. You put all this together? Yuna blinks in surprise and blushes. It wasn't all me. But the idea was yours. Actually, you helped out with some of the logistics for the Dashu event before, before the XZ concert too. Yeah, but it was for stuff involving the team. I wanted to make sure you guys were getting properly introduced and represented. I had no idea. I was just doing my job. You, you're doing an amazing job. She blushes even deeper. Anyway, thanks for filling this out. Sure, I better go in now. Kara's probably about to blow a blood vessel waiting for me. Good luck out there. Thanks. Oh boy. She waves goodbye before heading towards the same while, while I head to the pre-combat room. Oh boy. Hey guys. I quickly changed my pilot's outfit and joined the rest of my team at the holiday table. 
Kyari is busy, busy flying out the arena of our respective gears as everyone else silently watches. It's finally starting to set in that we're being matched against the top pilot at Ace. The confidence I felt earlier wanes. After a couple more seconds, Kyari takes a step back from the holograph and looks over her handiwork. Okay, this is what the war game layouts will be. As you all know, we'll be facing against Reborn, Akira's team, Mayu. Can you report on their gear composition and weaponry? Mayu nods and her fingers dart across the hollow table. Reborn is fully sponsored by Eludian Enterprises, which means they provide Reborn with the same cutting-edge weaponry that they provide their professional teams. Each gear is kitted out for specific purposes. That means, individually, they may have weaknesses, but as a unit, they cover each other's vulnerabilities. Hold on. We may have actually lucked out. Might your shots show a questioning luck? What? Well, you know how they're smashing everyone in terms of points? Win or lose, they're still going to be the number one seeded team. Okay, how does that help us? Yeah, I'm curious. This happened last year as well. When Reborn was guaranteed the first ranked spot, they subbed in their backup pilots. Really? I didn't even notice. It's not a well-known fact because their four-man gear equipment is always the same. But if you dig into their pilot history, you'll see it. And the stats show that when they started putting in their subs, their overall performance did decline. Even if it was just a little. Huh. So, what you're saying is that we'll be fighting against their backups, since they already have a guaranteed first seed? Everyone but Phoenix. Phoenix? Akira's gear. Only he pilots it. Ah. I'm surprised by show. He certainly didn't provide the same input on our previous matches as he did in this one. Even when one of our matches was against his own roommate. This match must really mean something to him. Yeah, we can use this in our favor, I guess. We'll press any advantage we can get. Kyrie nods. Yeah, that seems like a good choice. Agreed. Okay, so we can definitely use this to our advantage. Yep. Kyrie changes up some of the notes on the holo table. I have an idea. What if we employ the same tactic we did against Tatsuo's team? Focus down Akira. Hmm. Mayu shakes her head. That won't work. Claw of the Wild's team is Tatsuo. However, every member of Reborn is going to be strong even without Akira. True, but Akira still surpasses the rest of his team in terms of skill. Instead of focusing Akira, what if we try to pull him out and play a 3v3 against the other members? Hmm. Who's going to handle 1v1 with Akira? Well, all luck in each other. Although none of us want to admit, it's painfully clear that he would bear, bear, be any one of us in a duel. Okay, not even a choice, sir. I can do it. We not be, not be able to beat him in a straight match, but we at least have my overdrive moments our packet I pocket ice ace again. Kyrie nods. And since we haven't used it since the qualifiers, they definitely won't be expecting that. Oh yeah. That's right. As long as you keep Akira busy, we have a strong chance of beating the rest of the team and then helping you with Akira. It won't be that easy, but I think this is our best chance at winning. Oh boy. We hash out the details of the plan at the holo table. Remember not to immediately activate your overdrive mode when you start. Of course. I nod. I'll be on the timer once it activates. Three minutes, so I should use it wisely. Exactly. Let's recap then. We'll create distance between the three of us and Eagle, with suppressive fire. We'll make it impossible for them to even attempt to gang up. If they stick together, we can keep our distance and trap them in crossfire. When they start to create distance with one another, Eagle will hard engage Phoenix. And we'll do the same with our respective opponents. Positioning will play a big part. We'll have to capitalize on the fact that Akira doesn't have as much team cohesion practice with the subs as he would with the regular starters. Kari looks at me. You'll keep Akira <sighs> engaged as long as you can, and we'll use the overdrive mode if it starts to look bad. Only if it looks bad. I nod. That leaves the rest of us with three on three. It'll be a tough match, but we should be able to beat reborn substitute pilots without Akira there. What if Brosif goes down? Uh, yeah, like what if that happens? Just on the off chance. Uh, you know what? A valid concern. 
Uh, we should plan that out too. Depending on the battle condition, it might be worth going for the saver points if things aren't in her favor. I mean, I, I have to have to be with sure there. I, I'm not all that confident in me either. <laughs> Trust me. You mean take out the weakened gears instead of going for a win? Nakaya crosses her arms but nods. I blink in surprise. Judging by the sour look on her face, I can tell the strategy isn't ideal for her, but the Kaiori from before would never have even considered it. She then looks at Mayu. I agree. <clears throat> that would be the best course of action. We win and gang up on Akira afterwards, otherwise we go for the safe points instead of trying for the win. Brosif fights Akira, we fight the other three. Uh, okay, I think you... Uh, I you know what, never mind. Correct. Show nods. Okay, got it. My nerves are still jumpy, but I feel positive about our plan. Are- am I? We can do this! I don't know. Everyone stares at Mayu. She blinks, then pokes two fingers together. Uh, I mean, if we try... The team laughs. Ever since she got together with Sho, she's been a lot more confident. I'm really happy for her. The alarm rings, signaling for us to get to our stations. Let's go! <clears throat> oh boy. After one deep breath, I follow Kayori out of the room. <sighs> Most audience during reading week are pretty quiet in terms of audience, but today the only time I felt was many people have not more than a typical match. Two undefeated teams, but only one, will continue their winning streak. Okay. Entering first. Whoa, what? Ah! It just cut. What? Okay, but they know our team is here. The crowd thunders to life. I stare at the sea of people as they jump and wave from their seats. The difference from the polite applause we received when we started is surreal. <clears throat> the energy fuels me and I can't hold back my grip. If this is a taste of what it's like to com compete in the big leads, they count me in. Versus the team who requires no introduction, Reborn! The same rumbles from all the cheering. Dear God! The underdog versus the university's pride. I put aside my saying to watch a match like that, too. <clears throat> Gee, I wonder which one is Akira's robe. I wonder which one is Akira's. <laughs> it's, to it's probably one of those three there. Totally not the fancy looking one. Reborn enters the stadium. The gears sparkle underneath the lights. A sleek and pristine image of the modernity of Alu Dian. I don't even know how to say that. Are you all ready for this legendary showdown? No! The crowd goes wild. I have a feeling I should save again. Then let's not delay this anymore! And... begin! And this is where I should save again. <clears throat> let's go! Stick to the plan and be vocal! Roger. Okay, now this is actually where I think I should save, and I'm going to cut it a little short, but I'll be back with more. See ya!